The city of Milwaukee declaring today Black Knight Remembrance Day as the LGBTQ community celebrates a moment in time when a bar brawl changed everything. CBS 58's Michelle Fiore joins us now to explain. Michelle. In Italy, over 60 years ago, the LGBTQ community stood up against attackers to defend the only bar in the city where they felt they could be themselves. Weeds now line a vacant lot just off 794. This is an address that hasn't existed in 60 years of 400 North Plankington. Um, this is where the Black Knight stood. The Black Knight had just eight bar stools, but it was the only place in Milwaukee people could show up in gender non-conforming clothes. The gay bars of the era being very shadowy, very confidential, very anonymous places did not want attention and they did, definitely did not want gender expansive people in there because they felt that they would cause trouble. On August 5th, 1961, four men started a fight with the bouncer, left and returned for a bigger brawl, not realizing patrons were ready, the solidarity huge. People realized that there were more of them than there were of their harassers and that they could take a stand against the harassers. Now recognition at St. Paul and Plankinton, Wisconsin's very first LGBTQ historic marker. They fought back and they won. The bar was demolished, but the community understood that people in the LGBT community aren't going to get pushed around anymore. Mayor Cavalier Johnson and County Executive David Crawley also attending the Monday event, Thank along you. with dozens of others. The historic marker is a powerful symbol of visibility and representation, particularly for our black transgender siblings who have faced extraordinary challenges. Days like these, reminders of continued resiliency. The community experienced a string of violence in recent times with four black trans women murdered in Milwaukee from 2022 to 2023. Oftentimes we as black trans women go unnoticed or we go um, without receiving the visibility or the support that we need amongst our community members. Now, the Wisconsin Historical Society has got a two-part series on the Black Knight Uprising in its publication, The Wisconsin Magazine of History. The first part was published in June, and the second will be out this fall.